body into the tank, your thigh, not your arm. On the handlebars. 27. better now. Okay guys, back on the BMW. Same pressure in the rear, just a uh, 0.3 lower. I'm running a half a PSI lower in the front. What was it again? 31.3 in the front, 24.7. Or a little more in the rear, a little less in the front. Okay, let's do it. Let's hit it, guys, hit it. Camera, we got the rear camera, we got the helmet camera. Let's try to get down to like a 54 maybe, two seconds faster. Cheers. Okay, guys, we got earplugs in. Finally got my earplugs in. Just the little custom old ones which give you a little bit of dampening. Not like as much as a normal earplug, but it's gonna be a lot better. A little thirsty, but no time for that. I'm late. I'm late on track. Okay, second time on the bike. Last lap did a 56. Let's go do like a 54 would be a, a immediate goal. Pull the tire warmers off. You can see that tire got all shredded. See how it does. It's time out. All right. Ugh. And out. Okay. Here we go, guys. Let's do traction control up a little bit. Minus one zero. All right. Let's just feel the traction control. Lock the shooter. Here we go. certainly limits my ventilation. Warm up the mine, warm up the tire as well. They're already warm, but cycle them on the track. Much better with earplugs. Earplugs are a nice improvement. Yeah, much quieter, much better. I can hear myself talk now. Before I must have been screaming. I forgot to stiffen the suspension. Oh shit, I gotta take it easy on that bump, guys. I needed to stiffen up the front compression. Can't do it on the run. And if you bottom out, you're fucking down.
a break. Shake up the rear there. that up next time. section real light. There's the bike off. A little gas right there. Trail brake front rear and onto the throttle. Oh, I wasn't watching. I was not watching. Watching, uh, I don't know, the wheelie. <laughs> the traffic, I was watching all these guys in front. Blow the corner pretty easily. We got traffic. guy in front of us. In front of us. It's like you guys are with me. Too bad. Look at the angle coming here. Oh, too tight of an angle. up there. Man, I screwed it up anyways. Again, take it easier over that bump.
brake over there helps. Body into the tank, your thigh, not your arm. On the halberd. 27. Alright, let's do it. Try this better now. There's the cones. Bring them in, bring them in. I'm just coasting right here, so that's gonna lose me a second. I'm not even breaking into this corner there. the guy I got tight that suspension out more compression on the front a little preload maybe yeah okay that's the base Base. Back to base. Mm, fifty three, fifty six still on the lean angles. <laughs> So nothing improved there anyways. Where do I hang on to the right? Hang on to the handlebar. Ah, bam. Yeah, look at that. Still tearing up. That new surface area out there. Fronts looking decent. Let's see what we got. Okay, and we're back. We're back, guys. It's a little loud out there, but let's take a look at the dash. Let's take a look at the dash. Okay, so a 155.72 on lap 5, average 158, 241 kilometers top speed. Yeah, so 58, 58, 202, 57, 55, or 55.7. Um, the session before that, 239 top speed, uh, 56, 7, so one second, one second faster, guys. One, one second faster. And on the dash, you can just use a little trash control. You see the first dot right there and then the hard braking as well on zero DTC, 53, 56 lean angle and 13,243. Temperatures, oh man, that generator. I gotta say, 
Nobody should be allowed at the track with one of those cheap champions. They should not be allowed. That's all I hear. It's all I hear is that freaking generator besides the bikes, but uh, you can't even hear my generator. Let me show you. Like, you still hear that champion. Still hear the champion, even though this guy's pumping along right here, right? But you, you still hear that guy. Circumstances like these, I would say if the guy had an extension cord long enough, I'd be like, hey, go plug into mine. Obviously mine can take more load. So uh, we'll see if he has the long extension cord, but he probably won't. Um, anyways, back at the math here, guys. Um, so again, 31. Well, let's get focused. 31 and it dropped one PSI, essentially um, 30, you know, say 30, from 31 to 30, it dropped to PSI. Rear went up almost the PSI, 24.7, 25, 4. And the temperatures, front left was even, front to back, just from that lean angle. And then on the throttle, you get on the throttle coming onto the straightaway and up the hill, 124 in the front. Um, so interesting, you know, very similar to the session before that. Um, I just wasn't getting hard in the throttle as much. I was much smoother on my outtake. And, uh, but a little cooler on the front right because I wasn't hard braking, right? I w I, oh yeah, I'll show you the forks that I, I was really worried about. See, oh, there was a little give, right? I could have gone a little further down. Um, to, but, and then you bottom out and you crash. But uh, I would just like another, you know, like that's a little safer zone. So actually I had a little bit more than I thought. Um, yeah. And you might have seen mid mid drive, mid ride. I adjusted my hand thing. I turned it one here to give me a little more brake extension. All right. But overall, yeah, it was okay out there. Um, I got to decide to mount a pair of tires, maybe for super pole. You know, maybe I should uh, throw on the new set of tires on some rims. I should have done that at home. I'll go over to Sage at Pirelli and get them to mount those up or I decide to take out one of the used rears um, and just keep the same front, whatever, and save it for tomorrow. Ernie Racing, guys, Ernie Racing. Okay guys, so anyways, we're at ending lunch here. We'll be on track in 15 minutes. So just reheating up Merlin. And uh, yeah, I was just looking through the trailer and thinking about tires for later today for Super Bowl, the too fast track day Super Bowl where I can win back my track day fees. And pulled out these kind of bad boys on, a, on rims. And uh, here is a 4416, so a 2016 tire and a front was that 18 but this one's actually pretty worn and I kind of thought it's actually just as worn as the one on the bike right now however it's good on the right on the rear the rear is pretty good on the right not so good in the mid zone but that's and but on the left here and pretty good on the left so not a bit so little bit it'll be better than what's on the bike it'll be better as you can see I got 90 90 35 35 I gave him estimates for wear now it's been stored for three winters and you can see these lines were created from how it was stored on the rack. So I'm trying to put them in the sun here hoping that it'll kind of like pop out the balloon. Same thing here, like they're little indents from the, on the rack for three years in the winter. So I've done, a, I've got a fastest lap is a 55.7 so far on the, you know, the 150 lap tires from 2017, 2018. So we want to get to now, uh, what, a 54? A 54, yeah, a 54, maybe a 53 would be nice. Are you racing? I'll see you guys after lunch.